In this video, I'll show you how to place an order through the Twinda Manager platform. First, log in to your Twinda Manager. Then, go to the Sales and Fulfillment tab and click on Orders. Once loaded, go to the upper right and click Create New Order. Your first step will be to select a customer. You can search for your customer using the filter fields. Once you've clicked on a customer to select them, you'll load the Order Details page. Here, the first step is to add products. You can search once again using the filter fields to find a specific SKU. Once you've found the SKU, click on the Select checkbox. Then, select the items that you wish to add. Here, I'll add a 3-inch full-body miniature, with a quantity of 2. If you want to add multiple sizes, you'll need to do this process more than once. Go ahead and click OK, then click Add Selected Products to Order. Once added to your cart, the items will display as such. As mentioned, to add additional products at a different size, click Add Products once again, select the item once again, and select a different size, and put in a quantity. Then click OK, and click Add Selected Products to Order. Once all items are added to the cart, you can apply a coupon code for your customer. Then, input the billing address. Customers who have previously placed an order, or when you have placed an order for that customer and checked the Save an Address Book box, the address may be pre-populated. Make sure you check it before placing your order. Also, you'll want to check that the shipping address reflects the appropriate shipping address for the customer. Here, you'll see a Same as Billing Address checkbox. If this checkbox is checked, it will copy all of the billing address fields over to the shipping address. Next, you'll want to choose a shipping method for your shipment. Here, you'll click Get Shipping Methods and Rates, and it'll give you the options for shipping for this order. Here, you'll find standard, rush, and bulk options, depending on your account and your settings. I'll select First Class for this shipment. On the left, you'll find Payment Method. Here, you can choose which payment method your customer will be paying you by. If you'd like to collect from your customer using Card, click Pay by Card. Then, enter the customer's payment information. If you'd rather, you can also choose Cash, Check, No Payment Necessary. If the box stating Save Card for Future Purchases is checked, this card will be saved on the customer's account, and they'll be able to use that card in future purchases by just selecting the card as a radio box. Here, I'll change to a Cash, Check, No Payment Necessary purchase method. Now, immediately below the customer's payment method, you'll find Partner Fulfillment Info. Here, this is the card that you'll use to pay the fulfillment cost for the order. I'll go ahead and I'll select the existing card that's already been saved to the account. If you haven't entered a card before or you'd like to use a new card, you can click Use a New Card, put in your information, and keep the Save Card for Future Purchases box checked if you'd like to save it. Here, in the Order Comments field, I'll put in any comments that I have about the model itself that need to be passed on to the artists for the touch-up.
Then, on the right, I'll review order totals. Here, I can see that my subtotal to my customer is $107. Shipping is free, and I'm charging tax of $9.63 for a grand total of $116.63. Then, on the right, you'll see fulfillment costs. Your fulfillment cost for this order is $41. The shipping cost that you'll be charged is $9, and there will be no tax applied to this order, for a total of $50 in fulfillment cost. Here, I can define whether I'd like to email the order confirmation to the customer. This box is by default checked. Then, as soon as I've reviewed all information on the order, and I'm satisfied that everything is correct, I'll click Submit Order.